I want to talk about the Amazigh culture in the region of Rebat al Khair and uh, you know how this culture helps in you know the development and the multiculturalism of the Moroccan society and also the symbols they used to have on their faces and, and in their carpets. These symbols, you know, we have some someone over here, they represent the different aspects of the Moroccan culture. They are originally taken from the pre-Roman Empire, you know, and the, the period when the Amazigh people were dominating here in Morocco. We can find some symbols of Christianity here. And for, you know, Islam, it added just the, the star. Now we can find some stars in the symbols, you know, used in carpet weaving or tattooing, but they are rare. What you find is always uh, things that predate to the pre-Roman Empire, the Roman Empire, and a little bit, you know, with Christianity. I worked on tattooing and carpet waving, but after that I came to the conclusion that, okay, the same symbols, I just start finding them everywhere. When you study something, you become conscious about what is surrounding you. Wherever I go, you find, okay, so this symbol, yeah, it's here in poetry, yeah, but it's in the carpet, it's in tattooing, it's in the henna. If you go and look in the handicrafts, Moroccan handicrafts, you can find them present in all handicrafts. They are present everywhere. The Amadeh society is a matrimonial society and they represent and celebrate women. On the day of the Henna, so the, 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 the Amazigh women should put uh, what we call in, uh, in, in, in Amazigh the Hendira. This is carpet, she should put it uh, before she starts making Henna on her hands. If she doesn't put it, they believe that she, she will have, you know, the marriage will, be, will, will not be finished. She will maybe catch an evil eye, maybe she will be broken, or something bad will happen to her. Because, you know, Moroccans, they believe so much in the evil eye, including me, of course. <laughs> also, her mother should, or must, let's say, make her a carpet and she should take it with her on her day, you know, the day she's going to her husband's house. For the same thing, uh, the symbols also they are used in tattooing, but uh, because of people, they just start knowing more about Islam, and they know that, you know, tattooing is something that is forbidden, they started removing it, but they substitute it with the, with the carpet. You know, they use the carpet to focus more on the protection rather than tattooing. The Moroccan, the Moroccan society is like, you know, it's a conservative and they care about the virginity of the girl. They should be protected. So this process is done by women, two women. They just take the small girl and they make her turn around the loom. Uh, I think while her eyes are closed and after that she is untouchable. And on the day of marriage, nothing could happen before they removed, you know, what they did. If you don't remove what you did and you, you take a reversal process, so she will stay a girl forever. Nobody can touch her. And this is real. <laughs> you know, it's, it's strange, but it's real. <laughs>